Remember when I said hydration is reversible? This process is called dehydration. The alcohol can be protonated and then water comes off, like so. This gives us the carbocation we had in that example. But then this happens. Water comes and pulls off that hydrogen and gives us this alkene, which is not what we started with in that example. The reason we get something different is because this tertiary carbocation will not rearrange to give us the secondary carbocation it came from. But water could pull off a hydrogen from one of these equivalent methyl groups and give us this different uh, dehydration product. It doesn't even matter that my markers are crappy because you don't need to worry about this product too much. It's a minor product. This is our major product. Arrow push your eyeballs over here and I'll show you why. Zaitsev's rule, slightly restated, says that the H that is eliminated is the one that makes the most substituted alkene. It was a long time ago, early in the days of chemistry, so he did not attempt to explain why, he just noticed that it was true. So just so you have this straightened out in your head, an alkane is the lowest energy, it's very similar alkenes are higher in energy, the most substituted one being lower in energy followed by the least substituted one. The highest energy of all is of course alkynes. Now that you know this, we can talk about E1 eliminations. E stands for elimination, 1 stands for unimolecular in the rate limiting step, and I suppose E1 eliminations is a bit like ATM machine, slightly redundant. Anyway, this reaction happens uh, most quickly in polar protic solvents, which are best at solvating ions. By unimolecular, I mean that there's no base or anything causing this leaving group to pop off. It just does it on its own. Examples of solvents you would use, alcohols, formic acid, or water plus a solvent that will dissolve your alkene, because the water won't, like acetone. First step, the halide comes off, the leaving group leaves. Now you have a carbocation and your iodine, iodide, excuse me. Let's say we used a general alcohol as our solvent. One thing it can do at this point is come and pull off a beta hydrogen from there, creating a very substituted alkene, the most substituted alkene that this carbocation could produce. It has three substituents. But it is not the case that only the major product is formed. That's why it's called the major. There's also a minor product. If we lost an H from a different beta carbon, like an H from these two equivalent methyl groups, I tried to label these, but I'm writing too small. Sorry about that. Here's our carbocation. We would get this instead. This, as you can plainly see, is an alkene with two substituents. Not as stable as our alkene with three substituents. So, the one with three is the major product, the one with two is the minor product. That's it for E1 eliminations, but this is not the only thing that can happen. Stay tuned for SN1.